Hey guys, I'm Jeff and I'm here to joke about the news. This is what you need to know. Coming up, I take a deep dive into the protests in Portland and Trump's new pivot. But first, let's do some one-liner news. Ted Cruz was asked where he stands on the new coronavirus financial relief bill, and he said, I'm not a no, I'm a hell no. He said he learned that phrase from all the women he's ever asked out on a date. Baboons at a safari park in England broke into a car using stolen tools. I think the solution is obvious. The only thing that stops a bad baboon with a wrench is a good baboon with a gun. The Ronald Reagan Presidential Foundation has demanded that Trump stop using Reagan's name and likeness in his campaign, which Trump does constantly. Why is Trump so obsessed with Reagan anyway? The guy's most famous quote is, tear down this wall. A man in New York forged his own death certificate to avoid jail, but a typo in the document gave him away. I guess he really shouldn't have ignored that Microsoft Word pop-up. Looks like you're writing a death certificate. Wanna run spell check? People in three US states are reporting that they've received mysterious packets of seeds in the mail from China. In an unrelated story, my backyard is filled with bamboo plants with little cameras inside. Weird. Kanye West held his first campaign rally and made promises like, marijuana should be free and everyone who has a baby gets a million dollars. Hold on, why would I even need a million dollars if the weed is free? And why stop there? How about a Lambo in every garage and a Kardashian in every sex tape? Walmart is closing stores on Thanksgiving this year, ending the Black Friday tradition of huge crowds buying everything in the store. Instead, they're releasing a virtual Black Friday app where you can shop, scream at people, and get trampled in VR. A man in Nevada stole a three foot, 40 pound novelty dildo from a sex shop. Police are asking people to be on the lookout for any guy walking funny. My question is, if they do find him, are they really gonna want it back? And now it's time for my main story. Things are getting weird in Trump world. The president has been bragging about how well he did on a dementia screening test. Person, woman, man, camera, TV. Incidentally, that's also what he says to porn stars and models when he hits on them. I have like a good memory because I'm cognitively there. But I'll bet you couldn't even answer the last five questions. I'll bet you couldn't. They get very hard. This is a cognitive test. It is not meant to be hard, right? This is an exam that's meant to identify people who have Alzheimer's or other forms of dementia. If you're dumb enough to brag about acing a dementia test, you just failed the IQ test. And then in a rare moment of honesty, Trump admitted that he sometimes regrets his choices on Twitter. You start getting phone calls. Did you really say this? I say, what's wrong with that? And you find a lot of things. You know what I find? It's not the tweets, it's the retweets that get you in trouble. Right, and it's not the election, but the re-election that'll get you into even bigger trouble. You guys remember this? Under Department of Justice policy, the president could be prosecuted for obstruction of justice crimes after he leaves office, is correct? True. I think I know what the new number one reality show is going to be next year. Trump in prison. The Trump train just seems to be running off the rails. His supporters keep spreading nonsense about Fauci. What is going on with Dr. Fauci talking in direct opposition to the president he is ostensibly serving? He should not be. He's there to serve the president, and he's, not a, he's more of a virologist than a public health official. Sure, public health decisions should only be made by real experts, like talk show hosts and wealthy donors. Even the Sinclair Group, a right-wing media company that owns hundreds of TV stations, was about to air a debunked conspiracy theory that Dr. Fauci created the coronavirus, but then got embarrassed and pulled the segment. I'd love to see a 5G tower built near Sinclair headquarters just to watch the executives line their MAGA hats with tinfoil. To his credit, Trump does have some diehard female supporters, but they're mostly just mask deniers, like this supermarket exorcist Karen. I can buy something and then I will happily leave. I refuse you all and cast you into the light of fire. Jesus Christ, mighty name! And this Panera Bread fart expert, Karen. Do you think that mask is going to protect you? You fart off your ass, you can smell it. Dude, just grow ass, up. Do you think that mask is going to protect just you? Just grow up. And this pizza parlor constitutional law scholar, Karen. Walk out of my store. Do you like? Do you know the law? And I the law. Do you know the law? Fun fact, my mother's name actually is Karen. No joke. But she's no Karen. She's a nice mom who always wears a mask. A group of moms did something amazing this week to protect protesters against Trump's Gestapo troops in Portland. You may have seen the Wall of Veterans. Well, check out this Wall of Moms. Moms are here! Red State's here! Leave our kids alone! Leave our kids alone!
speaking of the power of women, check out this lady who took it all off to pull off the impossible and stop the tear gassing. <laughs> that image of human beauty and vulnerability strutting into what is essentially a war zone on American soil might just be the perfect antidote to Trump's macho stormtrooper bullshit. So if a little nudity is what it's gonna take to stop Team Trump's tactics, I'm ready. I've been manscaping and tanning all week. If you're not getting my newsletter, you are missing out. Every week, I scour the internet for the funniest jokes and clips you may have missed. Everything from SNL bits to Comedy Central stand-up, Twitter jokes, Instagram memes, even TikTok sketches. It's totally free, and it's a great companion to this show. So sign up at the link in my video description, and it's also my profile. All right, stay safe, guys, and I'll see you next time on What You Need to Know. <laughs>